Hello, I'm Steve Olson, the Manager of Training Services for Mesa. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the process of how to insert a custom eye property into a drawing title block. First, I want to set up the scenario that I intend on demonstrating here. My CAD files have a custom property or two custom properties on them. Originator is the user that originally checked that file into Vault, and stock location is where in the warehouse we store that part. So first thing is I need to have a model that has those property definitions on it. If you've been following along this little series of videos I have, I do have a file here called the actuator block. It already has these custom I properties defined on them. So originator, stock location. So now I need to open my template. You do not want to go to file new and pick your template. You actually want to browse out and find that template. So I'm going to go up here to say open. And where my template is, I'm just using the default templates right now. So I'm going to go to my C drive, users, public, public documents, Autodesk, Inventor 2020, templates, ENUS, and there's my custom drawing template. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. So I can then get the right definition of the property to pull into my title block, I actually have to create a base view of that part. I can delete it before I save my template, but I do need to have it so the file can see those, those custom definitions. So I'm going to go up here to base. It's the last file I had open. I'm not going to worry about the view at all because I, my intention here is to make the definitions in the title block and then just delete the thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to now edit my title block. The best way to do that is to just right click. You see here uh, under sheet one, I've got this ANSI large. If I went up here under drawing resources, I would see the title blocks here as well. I'm just going to go to this ANSI large. I'm going to right click. I'm going to say edit definition. You'll see that that basically takes me into a sketch of that title block. You can see all kinds of definitions of dimensions and labels and properties that are already being pulled to populate the title block. What I kind of envision in mind is, you know, I don't have a scenario where I have a QA. So I'm just going to kind of change that to be the originator. And then down here, there's an empty cell. That probably is a good place for my stock, locate, stock location. So I'm going to change this QA to say originator. I'll say OK. And now I'm going to use the text command to place another placeholder. So I'm just going to kind of click here to place that, that placeholder for a piece of text. So underneath this drop down here is where I can access different properties. You can see I can say properties of the model, properties of the drawing. There is that custom properties model. That will not show up unless I have a model with custom properties displayed on my uh, on, on a view in the drawing. So if I say custom properties model, you'll see that it will show me the two custom properties that I have defined on that model. I'm going to pick originator. I'm going to hit this little insertion button and it will insert that into my field. And it's not quite the right size, so I'm going to change it up so it's 1.25. And then I also want to kind of take a look at the justifications. It's left justified, which is good, but I also want it bottom justified. I'll say OK. This dot right here is the insertion point, and I can constrain and dimension that so this piece of text is located nice and neatly inside of my title block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an, a coincident constraint to take this dot and put it on this little construction line that's in there. You can see that the whoever created this title block is using that to kind of nicely organize all this data to the left. 
And then you can see here that all of these other properties, they're using a 0.03 dimension up from the dividing line to space it nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. And I'll just click on one of the, on one of these other dimensions so they're all tied together. I'm going to use text again. This bottom cell here, I'll just type stock location. I'm going to change the height of this down to 0.01. I'm sorry, 0.1. I'll make sure it's left justified, top justified. That all looks good. I'll say OK. And again, I'll constrain it and dimension it. And then I'll put my property in here in here now too. Custom properties model, stock location, insert. I'll highlight all this, change the height. And then I want this to be bottom justified. And now I'll constrain it. All right, so that's all of my edits. I can save my, my sketch here, finish my sketch. It'll ask if I want to save the changes, yes or no, or do a save as. Maybe I want to save this as a different title block. I'm fine leaving it as this, so I'll say yes. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this block here, this delete this view. That's not going to harm my property definitions in my title block. I'll save this. And now let's take a look if we start a new file and place that block. Let's make sure that our properties are now populating our title block. All right, so I've closed my template out. I'm back to this model. I'm going to go up here to say File, New. I'll pick my custom drawing template. And I'll go to Base View. I'll be a little bit more careful about what I'm getting here. Now, if I zoom in here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the originator is the administrator, which that is the user that initially checked this file in the vault. And that stock location is K102. So we're getting exactly what we want in this case. So hopefully you can see that that's not that difficult of a process. The wrinkle here is that these are custom properties on a model. So we have to temporary place a view of a model that has those properties. So we can then snag those definitions, put them into the title block. But from now on, we should be in good shape. One thing to bear in mind is, and I want to make sure everybody understands here, is that is good for this title block and this template moving forward. If you've got older files that need this property definition in it, all the older drawings, you will either need to copy paste this title block into that file as you work on them, or there's something like the drawing resource transfer wizard that will allow you to take that title block definition and put it into a series of older files. So those are your options there when it comes to doing that. Um, there's some more information out there you can find on those. If you have any questions on that, even feel free to send me an email there. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can email those to me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.